So what I want to do here just um, it just seems to make sense that I'm going to do something a little bit different here. And I'm basically going to try to combine chapters 14 and 15 into kind of a super chapter that we could essentially call Money and Banking. And the idea is going to be that, um, well, the idea is that in chapter 14, we're talking about money and how banks in general work, and that in chapter 15, we're essentially talking about the Federal Reserve and monetary policy. So chapter 14 is our general basis of money and banking, and then in chapter 15, we're talking about the central bank, or what's known as the Federal Reserve. Okay, <coughs> so let's, um, this is going to be somewhat of an altered agenda here, um, so I'm kind of doing this on the fly here as I talk about this. First, talk about what is money and give a general definition of what money is. Number two about the roles of money. Number three, distinguish between commodity money versus fiat money. Number four, distinguish between M1, M2, M3. Number five, talk about banks and bank balance sheets. Number six, we'll talk about how banks create money. And these chapters together are going to make up the basis of chapter 14. Then, number 7, we'll talk about what the Federal Reserve is. Then we'll talk about the roles of the Federal Reserve. And sometimes you may hear about the Federal Reserve in a slightly different way. Sometimes you may hear about it in the news as just being called the Fed. Then I want to talk a bit about what monetary policy is. And then I'll finish this off by talking about the limits of monetary policy. And um, these aspects here would be chapter 15.